Other uses of a pocket knife. Kitchen utilities. Now let's say you're like me and you got a bunch of cheap ass pocket, you know, kitchen knives that can't sharpen worth a shit. Get yourself a good knife. Personally, I prefer to use the buck knife, the buck 110 hunter for this. Does great at does great at chopping veggies. Does great at cutting up the sausage that's in there in the pot right now. It's gonna do great cutting up all this chicken we got up here. Now I know some people say like, "Well, you're a damn hillbilly." Probably, probably. But don't let them liberal pussies get you in. Look at all that damn celery. Made short work of it. Careful! <laughs> <laughs> now, final thing for the ingredients will be this cayenne chicken. And if you can make a wild guess what we're cooking, I'll give you the ingredients. We got chicken broth, chicken, celery, spices, and sausage. Take a wild guess. No, we have not. Spice is always the last ingredient. Now I know what some of you are saying. David, why don't you get a kitchen knife? Why don't you suck my balls? Mm. <laughs> Answer that damn question, assholes. Now some of you might be thinking, David cooks? Yes. It's one thing that everyone, every man, woman, and child should learn in life is how to cook a proper meal. Because you don't want to become some, like, you don't want to become one of these liberal Michael Moore looking motherfuckers by doing nothing but eating fast food all your life. Let's just say a lot of home cooked meals make you lose a lot of weight. People who are sitting there watching this and like, oh, I'm too fat for this. <laughs> pretty sad that we say that one, one of my uh, highest viewers is a guy who literally called a fat man. Sorry, fat man. No offense, buddy. It's just that home-cooked meals are good for you. I'm pretty sure he cooks home food. I'm sure he well, cooks. Well, good job for you, fat man. You don't get to be a big guy by eating, by not being able to cook. Let's be blind about that one, people. <laughs> and I know some of you people are thinking, well, David, what if I don't eat meat? Well, then you're a pussy and you need to die. Be nice. If you don't eat meat, you can find many substitutes for protein, but meat you do need in your system. Personally, I just think you should die, but that's just my opinion. Like, <laughs> eat lots of broccoli. Damn if you don't eat meat. Damn mutants. You eat broccoli. I'm an omnivore, honey. I eat both. Meats and veggies and fruits and dairies. And you're you pussy. Can I help you cut off the chicken? Oh, you cannot. Okay. You got a jab right there, you're the, you're the eye candy. You really think they will look at this mug? Real eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> now most people would tell her to wash her hands. Yeah, wash your fucking hands, you nasty ass motherfucker. <laughs> mm. I just itched underneath my nose. This ain't Taco Bell, we don't let you do that shit here. <laughs> Out there who says he can't cook, I know for a fact he can. Now, we got a few things here. You know, we got a f we're gonna put some spice in here, which we don't need much of it because all this stuff is coated in what is this, cayenne or chipotle? I think it's I think it's chipotle. Yes, yeah, it's chipotle seasoning. I know some of you are saying, like, but David, I don't like spice. Spice hurts my mouth. Spice hurts my stomach. Well, if you like me, you're a fucking pussy. If you guys are like mm. me and you can't, don't like spice, then don't eat it. Or, in my opinion, fucking die. Well, I like spice, but I can't eat it. Yeah, fucking whips. You heard me. <laughs> got no, we got or if you have acid reflux and you can't eat it, drink something afterwards. Yeah, a bunch of damn snowflakes. You're a snowflake. Bullshit. Okay. Spice is good for the heart. Eat mountain oysters. I have. Okay, what won't you eat? Honey, you're talking to a guy who wants a possum meat in a stew. There ain't much you can do to gross me out. Okay, then you need a cow's dick. Well, maybe <laughs> I will. <laughs> 
I'm trying to think of a famous cow from cartoon, but I got nothing. Chicken, chicken and cow? Like anyone who watches this channel is going to know that character. I either got young guys or older guys. No one on my channel knows that. Well, I'm one of those chicken daddy loves cow. That's a good thing about this channel. I ain't got a lot of, ain't got a lot of millennials on here. It's usually... Well, I grew up watching it, so... <laughs> usually a bunch of younger guys or older guys. And a couple of little gals I've noticed, which is kind of weird. Hey, yeah, don't be weird. If you like knives, like them all. Yeah, the problem is I've said all this horrible shit about feminism on my damn channel. I'm surprised I got, I got any women who still watch this damn show. Oh, if you don't like feminism, be proud of it. By the way, guys, with Christmas coming up, I'm going to be doing a Christmas giveaway. Huh? I have no idea over yet what yet, but we will figure it out in the future. So, yeah, we got that coming up. i got really nothing more to add here. Well, if you're going to keep watching him cutting this chicken, keep watching the video. Well, we're almost done here. We're about to just put it all in the pan and do our little adios to him. you got to get your face in the picture. I mean, I've done, I've done many of these without showing my face in the, in the video. Who the hell needs Martha Stewart? There you are learning a good old Cajun recipe. And you got this from guy. From Honest Dave. Be careful. I got careful. it. Careful! I got it, Papa Americano. Careful. Careful. Now wash that. No, uh, you're the washer. I'm the cook. Get the fuck Why out of my way. Why me to start I will fight you. <laughs> you do realize you're still videoing, right? I know I'm still videoing. Let's just get her watching. I'll fight it. You want to get my face in this damn picture? Yes, guys, I know. Some people think, like, oh my god, I can't believe they're so violent towards each other. Oh, we're not that violent. It's over, New Year's. Yeah, it's over. Fuck you! <laughs> heard worse. You know, the irony is about this damn pot right here, this damn slow cooker is probably older than all my viewers. How old is it? Old. Older than me? Oh, only by a few decades. Oh, the irony is this is an old crawfish one. Oh, that. <laughs> that was back when they actually used to, this is actually back when they still used to call them slow cookers instead of crock pots. Which I rightly said the word crock pot on as one. And that's all there is to this recipe, guys. Except don't eat it if you don't like it. Actually, no, we forgot something. Mm, you forgot your seasoning. Homemade book out seasoning. Don't ask what's in it. If he, has, if he had to tell you, he has to kill you. Let's just say that smell lingers. Are we doing a cooking channel? We're doing a cooking video. One video. No one wants to see my recipes. I mean, hell, we didn't even tell them. To, we haven't told them much of anything about it. Well, if you can guess what he's making. I just want to show. I'm just here to show people that there are the, there's the, uh, one of the uses for packing knives. Which are kind of a thing with me right now. Different uses for different knives. Big knives, little knives. Well, if they can guess what you're making, that'd be great. Maybe you have a viewer down in New Orleans. Anyone who reads a cookbook probably knows this damn menu or in recipe. Now we just got that rice cook. And the whole thing. And chicken. I don't know. Well, the way this uh, recipe works, honey, is the second the rice is done cooking. Mm -hmm. That's when the food's done. Alright, fuckwads. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Honest Dave and... Crazy Mia. Signing out. Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have good. Remember, this is Honest Dave saying... Be smart, stay sharp. Bye.